Hi, I'm here to talk about my model train layout. I'm um, a beginner model train uh, modeler, so I haven't done a whole pile yet. I've been six months at it now. Um, as you can see, I have a container here. Um, that was originally a grey. I re resprayed a yellow. Did a few more things with it, or and um, that was small, small enough kind of a year there. I plan on getting a few more containers. Not too many more kind of get cluttered. I also have a kind of filled hoppers. It's a bit of a kind of sand up here and then jelly drops it down into your hoppers for you. It's quite nice, nice thing. Quite expensive but quite nice. Um, over here I have um, facilities for a, for a transport company. Obviously I am after running out of glue to finish off the roof area so um, it's not fully finished but I think it look will look quite well um, when I have a few trucks or whatever pulled around and since you already have an Arctic trailer over there waiting to be facilitated as well as a small town area with a corner shop here fish and chips another house over here house here and a house here now as I said I've already ran out of glue so I've to finish paving here and as you can see the back hasn't fully been finished either as opposed to the back of this which has and also the paving is finished there then over here as you can see from the back it's a, it's a small factory three-story office buildings and it's got a nice little platform up the front obviously that should be standing up like so well anyways you get the idea and um, that brings me around to my Grand Station, which is a 1B, I think they call it Grand Station or something like that. It's a nice canopy cover. Um, wasn't too bad as model train things go, it wasn't that expensive. And uh, I'm not quite sure where I got this. I kind of found it. It was a nice little lad on there. I have a one or two bus station things and well, I have a few of these Irish kind of bus stops. I think they had a bit of Irishness to it, as I am Irish and I want to keep it Irish. Here I have my service station and garage. And it's also got a vehicle showroom. And it's got front and as you see there, I think there is topping up. It's also BP and the reason for that would be I have some BP oil tankers and it would have made sense to keep it all the one. So then I have another house over here as I plan on cleaning this area apart. I'm putting a few nice houses here and maybe around here and I have a section there set aside for farmhouse manors and stuff in between the forestry. Yeah, um I have a modern service depot as well. I have that complete with LED lights and that can look white quite well when it gets darker. As all the light kind of just shines out from these windows and looks quite well. I also have lights fitted in the canopy here. And I have them in here. And at my other small train station across the way. I also have a, a hill with a tunnel going into it and some more hills over here. Another one there. And over here, as you can see, the train track disappears into the, the background there. And it looks quite well, if I must say, and comes out the far side of the far tunnel. Um, the reason my track is quite, or my board, should I say, is quite cluttered is, well, every time I try to clean it, it doesn't take long before I bits and pieces left it on it again, as, well, I'm always adding stuff to the layout and changing stuff, and you're never really quite finished, are you? Um, yeah. I'm planning to get some more rolling stock. I don't have much rolling stock at the minute. And I find it hard to get good rolling stock. These yeomans are middle of the road, I think would be the best description. They're quite good. But sometimes I find that they can, the couplers, I think, is the main problem. They kind of drag each other off the track sometimes, which is quite annoying. It's a Hornby flatbed there for a 20 foot and a 40 foot container. Also, plan on getting some back manager model 45 footers to 
the same Irish Eurocon containers. Um, it's not much really left to show you, but I have put an awful lot of work in since Christmas. I have a river over here, but that's not fully complete as well. I have to buy some more scenic, scenic, uh, realistic water and water effects to completely finish that off. But um, I have Irish more four ones and. I plan on getting a 201 in the next week or two. So uh, keep tuned into my channel as I'm only starting off, but I will be reviewing English and Irish strings. And I'll probably be starting off with that 141 over there. And here's my Hitachi 395 class. Now, this is not just my channel, it's also my friend's. And he's going to be showing his layout. And he's got Backman H. H uh, he's got um, one or two Backman 39 class. and. He's got a Hornby HST First Great Western. He's going to be showing that off too um, in a review. So we will be reviewing all our rolling stock and uh, our trains in general. And not just that, but some of our buildings. And we would strongly advise anyone to go for the Metcalf, Metcalf buildings. As well, once you get into them, they're not too bad. Uh, but I would advise getting this glue. It's rocket card glue. It's six euros is quite dear, really, but it does do the trick. If you really want to do it and you're kind of starting off and you have no experience, trust me, it is the only way to go. Um, that's it really for the minute. Uh, keep tuned in and keep watching our channel. We will have an update fairly soon and um, we'll be showing off my friend's layout. But until then, thank you and good luck.